This video goes over how to save your Twine story. So be sure to pay attention because this is something you're going to want to know. So your Twine automatically saves to your browser. And that's a great thing. It's easy and convenient. You know that your story is continuously saving, but it's also really dangerous. If you clear your browser, your story will be lost. So please keep that in mind that you also need to download your story frequently. If you want to work on your story at a different computer than the one that you're using presently, then you're also going to want to download that story, email it to yourself, and then you can work on it again in another, at another computer in another browser. Also for turning in your story, you can't just submit a link because again, whatever story you're working on is saved to your browser, not to mine, so I won't be able to read it unless you've submitted an HTML file to me. So I'm going to show you how to get that HTML file that allows you to work on different computers and to submit assignments. So notice over here in the left-hand corner, you've got your menu. So I'm going to click on that, and you see the very last option says Publish to File. Once you click on that, you should get a little download. What I always do is click on this arrow here and click on Show in Folder. And you can see that I've got my download that's popped up. I cut it, paste it into my desktop, and now I've got a copy of my Twine story. Now this is handy when you go to the next computer that you're going to be working on. You can go back to this home screen. If you show up at that computer and it's blank, you just click on import from file, and then you choose the file that you had just downloaded before and emailed to yourself. And then once you've uploaded that file, it'll appear again just like this, and you'll be able to work on your story. It's that HTML file that you'll be submitting when it's time to turn in your Twine assignment as well.